Welcome to Onlook, the builder that allows you to design, prototype, and even ship full-scale apps right from your browser. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with the builder, walk you through the interface, and get you on the right path to building your first project. Alrighty, to get started, we need to either upload or create a new project. To create a new project, simply type inside of the prompt box whatever you want to build. For example, you could ask it, hey, build me a to-do app. Slack clone, YouTube clone, any other app that you want to use as a starting piece to enter the builder. To upload a project, just head over to the projects tab on the top right. From here, we're going to create a new project and select the import project option. From here, we can simply import a local project from our device, or in the near future, we'll also be able to connect and sync directly with GitHub. Let's import a project together today. With your project imported, you are now inside of Onlook's builder. Front and center, you'll see your window or the screen or preview of your app. If you select that screen, you'll see the option to change its device type. See here, I've got it set to laptop, but I can change it to any other preset. I can set my own presets. I can rotate it, switch it from light and dark mode, or even duplicate it if I wanted other devices. You can see here, I've got a duplicated screen for a mobile view, so that as I'm editing, I can always preview, to see what's happening both on desktop and mobile at the same time. If I wanted to change this to I know, an ultra wide screen for some reason, I could switch it here to different device type, or I could even drag across and then just simply drag one of the corners to change the aspect ratio. Now moving on to editing actual parts of our app. If you see in the top left, you'll find a layers panel. This is a visual representation of all of the layers that you have within the page that you're currently viewing. You can pin it simply by clicking on it. You can see then all the elements that you have on your page and select them directly from here. Or you can select something directly on the canvas and it will highlight that element over in your layers panel. From here, I can then also reorganize things within my layers. If I wanted to say invert the order of my buttons here, I would simply select the one that I want to move, drag it to where I want it to go, let it go, and it moves. Below the layers panel, you'll find your brand tab. From here, you can configure any of your brand styles. Now, Onlook by default brings in and sets up all of the basic Tailwind styles. So you have them preset here. You can then add and manage your own brand colors globally by adding them here within the brand panel and setting them for light dark mode. Below the colors, you'll find your brand fonts. Once you've added colors, fonts, or even assets to your project, they'll be available for all of the pages build up wide. Moving on to the pages panel, simply click on pages, see an overview of all the pages available on your website. You can create a new page directly from here if you want to. And you can switch between these pages by selecting them or by selecting the page dropdown on the preview window. Below pages, we then have our images. You can easily add and organize your media library. And then finally, we have the apps and elements tabs, which are both features that are currently in progress and coming soon, but will allow you to easily one-click integrate with different platforms, as well as manage your existing components via a visual UI. At the bottom of the builder, you'll find a small toolbar that allows you to change your current input state. If you look at it right now, we've got a little mouse, which means we're in mouse mode. And I can go and select different elements on the canvas. If I select the hand, that moves into pan mode where I can drag things around. The box sets me into insert div mode where I can add new divs. Text does the same for text. And then finally, we have the terminal where you can see what's going on on the server side, as well as the CLI to control your dev box or input any other commands that you might need a terminal for. Continuing on to the right-hand side of the builder, you'll find our AI chat and our code tab. AI chat is often updated to always be running the latest AI coding models. As of today, it's running GPT-5. You can use the AI chat as you would with any other AI chat, where you just simply ask what you want. Hey, build me X, execute, and it will run. You can switch it between build mode and ask mode if you don't want it to touch any of the code base. And to help the AI know exactly what you're talking about, we're combining this with the visual interface. So what you can do is go ahead and find an element that you want to edit. Let's say I wanted to tell it to update only this heading that we've got at the top here. I can select it and you can see it adds the heading, something that's been pre-selected for the AI to look into. This is really helpful when you're working with large projects and massive databases where the AI doesn't need to scan through all of your code files to try and find that one change flooding its context and memory, where in this case, Onlook will feed it exactly the right line of code in exactly the right place. So let's say, for example, change this title from tasks to to-dos. And there we have it. You see the AI has gone ahead and updated the title, and it didn't need to search through the whole code base because I told it exactly what to target. Now, this same functionality is available in the code view, which I'll show you in just a sec. But to wrap up the AI front, 
We also then have recommendations that the AI will suggest as next things to do. If there are any issues within your app, they will also show up here instead of the recommendations. Top right allows you to start a new chat. Top left allows you to see your chat history. Now, jumping over to the code tab, you'll find in here a complete folder and file manager, as well as code editor. Really, really cool stuff. What you can do, same thing as what we had with the AI, is you can select something visually on the canvas and that will automatically be highlighted inside of the code so you know exactly where to go to change your stuff. This happens in real time. So if I go ahead and make changes in the code here, let's say I changed that text from 3XL to 6XL and saved it, that then gets applied in real time. Six is a bit big, let's go back to three. From your code tab, you can expand it by just dragging it out and you can also create new files or folders by clicking on their respective buttons. All right, now you've seen me select an element, feed that to the AI, select an element, see that in code, but you can also select an element and style it visually. All I need to do is select it here on the canvas and you'll see our new visual editing bar appears. This allows you to change any of the styles through a visual interface and Onlook will automatically apply that as native React and Tailwind code to keep everything working nice and smoothly. So with my title here, I'm probably gonna change this back to tasks. I can do that by simply clicking on the text and typing. Also going to change its font size. So let's just go from 30, let's switch that to 20. And I wanna change the rounding on this border a little bit. So it's not as round, let's go from 16 to let's say eight. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. I'm now ready to preview and publish my app. To do so, I can just click on the preview tab here and I can click around and see what it looks like through the preview. So I add a test task, it's my little thing that seems to work. Countdown, all looks good. Sweet, happy with that. I'm good to then go and switch back to design mode, go ahead and update and update or publish my site. I can change any of the domain or publishing settings as well from the same panel by clicking on advanced settings or by linking custom domain directly there. And in the same toolbar area, I'll also find my version history. We'll see every single save that Onlook automatically makes. We will automatically back up the system every time the AI interacts with your code, whenever you publish or when you tell it to create a manual backup. To restore a backup, simply click on the restore button. And last but not least, we have our project settings. You can find this by going top left, opening your project settings. In here, you'll find a bunch of your project metadata, any of your social preview images that you want to set, you can set here directly. If you have multiple pages, you can also control them all from here. And if you needed to have custom commands when the project deploys, you can also do that by jumping over to the project tab and setting in custom commands. As a final step, let's go ahead and take a look at our newly published site. So I'm just gonna click on the publish button, which is now the update button, copy the URL, open up a new tab, chuck in onlook URL. You can see our project is now live. Let's test it out. Record this YouTube video. You can add that as a task. Let's see, got that awesome. I can select it, makes it active start it. Great. Everything is working. And I can also switch it between my light and dark mode and it maintains the nice styling. And that wraps up our video for today. In this video, I took you through the entire process of creating and launching your first project with Onlook. We went through importing or starting a project from scratch. We then edited that project using all of the tools inside of Onlook to make sure we've got full coverage. And then we used Onlook's built-in hosting and publishing features to deploy and publish our site which we then looked, tested live in the browser. In the upcoming videos, I'll be getting a lot deeper in guides and covering how to create specific types of apps and some more advanced Onlook use cases. If there's anything that you'd like to see, or if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments down below or join our community Discord, which is also linked down below. We've now got a small army of engineers, designers, and project managers building with Onlook, which has been awesome to watch grow over the last couple of months. Until the next one, catch you there.